Now, how do you test whether something is acid? Well, one of the most common things is, of course, you use your universal indicator. Universal indicator shows here that if it's acid, all right, you will see a red in colour, red, orange, yellow. Of course, the more acidic it is, the, the colour will be over here. This is the weak acid, all right? So, I have with me here sulfuric acid. Now, before I put in the universal indicator, you can also use two things, either a blue litmus paper or red litmus paper, okay? But let me see. If I put the red litmus paper in anything, any colour change? Nothing, because this is acid. But if I put the blue one in, can you see that it actually changes colour to white colour? Pink in colour, can you see? Alright, pink in colour. So, you must be careful. When you insert, uh, when you test it with litmus paper, if it doesn't change with a red litmus paper, it doesn't show that it's an acid. It just shows that it has no reaction with the red litmus. But if you want to test if this is an acid, you have to use blue litmus paper. And what I have with me here is the universal indicator, yes. So I'm going to pour the universal indicator inside. Okay, you see a good red colour forming. Ah, red, pH 1. Acid. So, what are the properties of acid, physical properties of acid then? Well, first of them, one of them is it turns universal indicator red. Secondly, can you see over here, they all have what ions? Tell me, H plus ions. pH range from 0 or 1 to 6. I write 0 to 6, okay? So, uh, some of them, some of the skill will give you 0, some of the skill start from 1, but it doesn't matter. It is considered as a strong acid if, if it's 0 or 1. 6 is the weak acid, 7 is neutral. Now, lastly, okay, it tastes sour. A lot of your fruits taste sour and they are acidic. So, if today you have a gastric pain, means that your stomach uh, has a lot of acid. Should you go and eat some more fruits to make yourself have a tummy ache? Of course not. Eat something that's alkaline, okay?